I can end this bar, by the way. I can end this bar, by the way. This bar, Joe Corkin is done, by the way. Can't wait to put this on Twitter, on your Twitter page. Stay in your car, go ahead, go drive. Go drive. Because no one even said a word to you. You're the one who started no, Come on, you're yeah. just, you did. Yeah. Listen, you just drank yeah. a little bit too much. Just go home. Why are you acting this way? Why are you yes. acting this way? This is Great. Jewish military intelligence. Get get idiots. More. Yo, yo, yo. I just don't want him coming. I'm making sure he's not. You know what I mean? You're not from here. I'm not. No, no, no. You're not from here. Is he on drugs? Yeah, yeah. He's from here. Yeah, he he yeah, poked out of his mind. Traders. Yeah, that's good. Out of you smell Terry and You are. You're not from, from, from here. You're, you're, you're actors. Yeah, you're yeah. actors. Yeah. You're not going to do anything. Do yeah. 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 you not think I'm going to prevent your promotion? The United States military. Well, if I was in the military. You're, drugs, buddy, you're, you're, you're in the United States military, aren't you? Get out of the bar. No, no, no. Get out of the bar. 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 I'll prevent you in a promotion. Awesome. Why are you doing you're this to me? Stop it. Stop it. Did I pay my bill? You what? You paid. Get, get, get out. out. Okay. Get out. I don't want to be. Well, you are. Get out, bro. Seriously. But I don't want to be. In but Leave the bar. She's so aggressive. It's I don't so care. Get out of the bar. I mean, she's she can't talk to me like at all. Okay. Get out. The bar, bro. I'll close the bar. Close it then. What? The bar is done. Awesome. Bye. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I do. The bar is done tomorrow. Do you know who the f I am? I do. I do. The bar is done. Yeah, I'm sorry. They may not know who you are, but I do. Um, this is State Representative Kevin Boyle out of Philadelphia. According to CBS News Philadelphia, PA police are investigating this incident. Involving a state rep. He was at a Montgomery County bar around midnight. This was last Thursday. According to the Rockledge Police Chief, John Gallagher, officers responded to the Gall and Company Malt House on Huntington Pike around 12.15 a.m. Thursday, February 8th. After learning a man inside the bar was allegedly threatening to hit female employees, okay? Police said the man late identified as Representative Boyle was reportedly a drunk and possibly under the influence of drugs as well, according to their report. At the bar, police learned that Boyle, a Democrat representing parts of Northeast Philadelphia, Montgomery County and District 172, was asked to leave multiple times but refused and then allegedly started to threaten the employees. Police said eventually left but came back a short time later. According to the chief, no one was injured and the staff involved told police they did not want to press charges against Representative Boyle, just wanted him to be removed from the bar. Responding officers told Representative Boyle that he was banned from the bar and ordered him to leave, at which point he walked away. Now, here's the point where I highlight an occurrence, okay? He was told to leave multiple times. He did not, according to the report, he threatened. And then according to the video, he said he'll have that bar shut down by tomorrow. Police come, they order him to leave, he leaves. Is he intoxicated? Yes, likely, right, he's intoxicated. But he has enough sense to know he doesn't talk to the cop the way he talked to those women. Isn't that interesting? He has enough sense to understand he's not going to treat the officer the way he treated the employees. There's more. Rockledge police said they're working with Matt House to review surveillance and phone video and will take appropriate action with their investigation. Uh, it is important to know that Mr. Boyle's status as an elected official and or political affiliation is irrelevant to the Rockledge Police Department. Video of Boyle inside the bar yelling and swearing at employees has circulated on social media. Um, in a statement shared with CBS Philadelphia, on Friday, um, House Democratic leadership said they are aware of the video and uh, called it very troubling. Representative Boyle has been open about his personal challenges. We're encouraged 
that our colleague and dear friend is seeking help. Our commitment to delivering mental health services does not stop at the capital steps, the statement continued. One of the main reasons we advocate so strongly for mental health access is the reality that challenges can and do happen to anyone and seeking treatment should be encouraged and not stigmatized. Representative Kevin Boyle is the brother of Democratic Congressman uh, Brendan Boyle, who represents Pennsylvania's second district in the US House of Representatives. And I want to say this um, to the state rep, um, you may have an issue, you may have a problem. Um, and if you do, you are encouraged obviously to get help. Um, and and I hope I hope that this situation has at least provided a mirror. Um, I used to have these moments in my life uh, before I stopped drinking many years ago uh, because I didn't want to end up on a camera like that. All right, so there's no no shame in getting the help you need, sir. All right, um, they felt. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look, we all have problems. We all have issues. Uh, it's not so much, you know, the issues themselves. It's what we do about them. I would like to see Mr. Boyle himself now come forward and apologize and give a public apology yep. that he embarrassed his constituents. He certainly frightened some people at that bar. And he should say, I'm an example of people who have problems. And these are the steps that I'm taking. And I encourage everybody who's got a problem with alcohol or mental health issues to also acknowledge your issues and work on them. That would be a great learning example for everybody. But I just sort of feel like, well, because he's part of a maybe a Democratic establishment in that part of Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, that he's going to stay silent, that his brother's going to stay silent, and it's going to he's going to try to sweep it under the rug. And that would be unfortunate. Yeah, I agree with you. 